Hello everyone, today I'm going to share some operations of some actions in browser operation part. I have already made some preparations, added a new module, added actions needed today through custom action list. Now we start the first action, set value. It means you can modify the value of the property of the selected element. For example, you are setting a value. When you are inputting the value in the input box, such as the login operation, now we view its action settings. Two parts for you. The first part is to find the element, just as I shared in the introduction video of find control. If you are still not clear about it, you can learn find control action first. So here I will skip this. The second part is to select the property or input the value manually. So here you can choose the property among those, or you can input the property manually like this. The most often used is value. So I will take value as an example. Switch to Yahoo website first. If I want to input a value in the input box here, I need to select this element first. I can find this element. Here I choose value property. I can manually input the value I need. I can also use value saved in variable. Here you can choose both string type variable and table type variable. Here I input manually. Save the settings. Now test to run it. Now you can see I have successfully input the value I need in the input box. I would love to talk more about other properties, such as text content. And then I select sign in element. The text content is the text property that this element displays. Now I modify the value into my value. Click to save. Now test to run it. Here you can see I have modified the value of this element. Another example for you. Select this element. Now I input the property manually. Manually input the value here. Save the settings. Pay attention to this element. This property is to set the visibility of the element. Well, that's all for the first action, set value. The second action today is new keystrokes emulation. It means keyboarding emulation. View its action settings. Also two parts. For the first part is to find the element. The second part to input the value or the emulated text required. Here if I choose not to select operate control, it will directly input with the emulated keyboard on the current page. The second means you can choose the element in variables. The third one means to select the element on the current page. But if you choose the first one, and if you want to input the value in the input box, you must get the focus first according to the focus event in control operate. So you can input the value here without selecting any element. Here, I select the input box element. For the emulation text, here to input the text that will be emulated with the keyboard, you can also use the text 
save the in string or table variable. This is the input interval time. The emulated keyboard will randomly select the interval time in this time range after each input. I also input book. Save the settings and test to run it. Now the emulated keyboard has input the value successfully. Next action, scraper. It means to scrape the information and then save the information to variable. View its action settings. It can scrape these types of information and then save the information to variables. Here I will talk more about advanced scrape. Still two parts of settings. First part, to find the element. Here to set the property of the element that will be scraped. Back to top of the settings. Here you can choose the number of the properties, one or more properties. Take the first one text as an example. Here to choose a variable to save the information. I need to add a variable first. So here I choose the variable I just added. I need to refresh this page. I select this element, Yahoo. Here are some properties provided. Scrape outer HTML, for example, for remove HTML tag. If I select it, it will remove the text of the information script and remain the value. I can click test to test it. Scraped the information and remove the text already. If I scrape more, here you must select a table variable. I add a table variable here. Before you select it, you can also choose if you are going to clear the table. Choose the column. Now select an element. If you select it, it will save all the properties found. If you cancel it, it will only scrape the information of the selected element. Now I give you an example. I delete some conditions. Here I found six elements. Now I cancel it. Remove HTML tag. Save the settings and test to run it. A new line added here. No value here, why? Because I select to remove HTML tag. If the element doesn't have the property you want to scrape, there will also be empty value. If you choose to scrape similar controls, and here to choose all, I choose class property. Save the settings. Test to run it. Now you can see, here I have scraped the class properties of the six elements. Next action, Cookie Manager. It's a management of the server's cookies saved in your computer. On the right side, in Action Settings, you can get cookie, set cookie, and get all size cookies. Here you must select a table variable with two columns. So I choose this table variable and click to save. Test to run it. These are all the cookies in my computer. The first column is host. The second column is the corresponding cookie. 
nor change it to get cookie. Here to input the host of the cookie that you want. You can use host in variable. Here you are going to use cookies saved in a string variable. Next, I will talk about clear cookies and clear cache, which both mean to clear cookie and cache through actions. Cookie is the data that the server saved to the computer to identify the computer. Cache refers to the resources of the sites stored in the computer, such as image, sound, and text, and so on. Next action, get random link. It's a random selection of a link on a page, or inside an element through text. View its action settings. You can search in whole page. You can search in controls saved in control variable. You can even search in some area where you select an element. For find link part, you need to check the tag where you got the link. In web source code, links are generally in those two tags. You can add or delete the tag for link type. An internal link is the same link as the domain name of the current page. An external link is not the same link as the domain name of the current page. Of course, you can use link type saved in variable, but the value must be external or internal. Here you can set the words that could be contained in the links. Contain all words or any words. Those words should be separated by comma. Here you can specify the words that will not be contained in the links. These two options are similar. You can save the link. You can also save the element. Here I save the link to this variable. Save it. Run it. On the right side, I choose to contain any words. Now I delete this. Save the settings. Now run it. Got a random external link. Now choose internal link. Save it. Now run it. Now got a random internal link. The last action, web screenshot. It means it will capture the entire web page and it will save the picture to the local. Now view the action settings. Here to choose the path for the picture. Here to name the picture. Save it. Here you can choose if you are going to use the path and the name saved in variable. I don't use variable here. Save it. Run it. Successfully. Double click to view the capture. That's all for today. Thank you for watching.